Friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 24th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Start note here, looking at the last two days of imagery on our sun, as it's been pretty active. Did see that X flare yesterday, and we just saw a strong M-class solar flare today among multiple minor M-class solar flares the last 24 hours. So having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have active sunspot regions and as well plasma filament on the left-hand side stretching there and lifting, getting ready to lift from the surface. And at the same time, we've got the same thing. We've got connectivity between sunspot regions. Outgoing has been the most active as we saw the X-class solar flare from an outgoing sunspot region. We also have a massive coronal hole that is Earth-facing right now, showing the last 48 hours, pointing out the events. Bottom left-hand side is showing the magnetic field of our sun during the coronal hole event, which is now Earth-facing, and we are already being affected. Solar winds are increasing. And just look at these amazing images of our sun today. Brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed here with daily events worldwide. And thank you so much for pressing play and being a part of this community. Amazing times to be alive and so grateful to have you aboard. Showing here amazing images of about nine sunspot regions. Strong X-class solar flare right there. And in the last few images, more M flares. Having a look here at sunspot regions in motion, notable on the right-hand side, growing sunspot region. And as well, coming into view, cresting into view, we do have some pretty peculiar sunspots, especially the northern. We are up into the 4,000s now. Current space weather conditions, we are under minor radio blackout impacts, but that is set to change. This was a half hour before we had a strong M-class solar flare. Solar winds are coming in at 420 kilometers per second. X-class solar flare yesterday, and this was notable. I was going to say that we were on the verge of a strong M-class, and we did get one. It is an M8 geomagnetic activity popping up to a KP4 ahead of this coronal hole wind stream. Space Weather Prediction Center here, not showing any new CMEs with their models. Still the same projections from yesterday. And as well, projection for the coronal hole, which on the bottom spiral is where you can really see the dark red. That is the radial velocity, kilometers per second. So our planet will be hit by some strong solar winds, upwards of four to 500, and right now we're in that range. Looking now at our magnetosphere, seeing how our shield is holding up on the left-hand side, showing the wind speeds, right hand, the pressure. The pressure is on, and it looks like it. our magnetosphere is really absorbing the energy right now. Thick, intense red ring showing intense pressure. And we've seen the increased seismicity during those pressurized events, during space weather events. So earthquake warning is in effect. I'm expecting a pretty strong earthquake the next 24 hours. Please, heads up. This is a look at LASCO 3 showing the CME and as well the radioactive shock, cosmic energies leaving the sun the last two days. Tonight's Aurora forecast and tomorrow's a little more prevalent tonight. And then looking at earthquakes past 24 hours, we're sitting at about 250 earthquakes and we saw a very deep one today, Fiji region, 602 kilometer depth. So that's the deepest earthquake we've seen the past few days. And these earthquakes are piling up in Fiji. 5.2 earthquake here, Panguna, Papua New Guinea, and then 4.4s, shallow 
surface level 4.4s from Indonesia, northward to Philippines, up into Japan, and finally into southern parts of Kamchatka, Kuril Islands. Something's going to pop here. This is why I'm saying earthquake warning is in effect. We're expecting something big. I am expecting something big. 5.3 earthquake reported last night. Ethiopia and seismicity coming back to Greece. Large volcanic eruptions at Mount Etna, but have stopped. So these lava blobs are going to peak out somewhere. Stay tuned, my friends and family. South American plate. That's a rock in today, and as well as Central America here with a 5.4. Georgetown, Cayman Islands, Jamaica. They saw a 7.6 just two weeks ago. Dominican Republic, a hot spot today as well, with a 4.0 north of the island. 3.3 there reported Kilauea. And as well, Alaska all of a sudden gone quiet. North American plate is now a hot spot. Seeing a small earthquake swarm at the geysers, USGS reporting 246 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. Having a look here at the USGS map and as well showing here with this map, the hazard zones, meaning the darker reds, the more the hazard. Ridgely, Tennessee, the New Madrid, 1.9. And then through the San Fran Valley, Earthquakes Gilroy, and as well Moss Landing, both sides of the San Andreas Fault, Hayward Fault was active last week, and then an earthquake here, Mammoth Lakes, this is all connected through this basin somehow, and the geysers are sitting at about 45 earthquakes, and that's in the last four hours, because we were at 100 and maybe 70 earthquakes this afternoon, and then boom. The geysers got very active. So, earthquake warning in effect. Pacific Northwest, notable earthquake here. South of Yellowstone, Kelly, Wyoming, 2.1 earthquake. And as well, north of Yellowstone, a minor earthquake as well. Carrying on here around the world, it's been an active day for space weather, volcanoes, earthquakes, and world weather as we've got some intense weather that's pounding the west coast of, the, of North America and as well some pretty strong systems that are affecting Iceland and then eventually into Europe. So stay tuned for the weather forecast as that's coming up. Quick glance here at the last seven days for earthquakes, shakers and movers. Notable. All of the activity up to the Pacific Northwest and the Cascades, British Columbia, and as well Fiji. Deep earthquakes this week. Indonesia, deep earthquakes, and nothing in the Marianas Trench for the last seven days. That's a little bit peculiar. Considering all the activity recently, this is going to be a place to watch. And as well, African Plate up into the Mediterranean. Another place to watch. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. Around the world, if you live in an earthquake prone zone, just be ready. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast. Big eruptions at Kamchatka as noted yesterday, and as well, a couple in Alaska. One new volcano has awakened so stay tuned, we probably have 78 volcanoes erupting around the world. But the volcanic activity report will be coming soon, so stay tuned to daily events worldwide. These are the active regions across the Pacific. And then looking here across Eastern Europe and the Indies, Southeast Asia. Big eruptions at Mount Etna. And as well, the eruption at Iceland. Nasty sulfur dioxide emissions are piling up across the northern hemisphere. Let's have a look at world weather. We've got some intense weather heading towards the Atlantic provinces Wednesday into Thursday. And then a couple Alberta clippers here join forces for the Atlantic provinces. Going to see a winter storm with that and some very strong winds on the southward. 
winter storm for the 1st of March for parts of Ontario and as well northern Ontario as some pretty strong lows gather their forces here over Ontario for the 5th into the 6th. Eastern parts of the United States watch for extreme weather. On the backside, watch for snow. Long-range forecasts still watching some multiple lows coming in from the North Pacific. Strong high-pressure ridge just guiding those things northward. Overlooking South Africa, Australia, multiple cyclones there east of Australia and as well Madagascar. Some crazy weather in the southern hemisphere right now. Watch for the cyclone to affect parts of southern New South Wales. And then strong systems here heading around the southern hemisphere right now. As we've got about four weeks left of winter. And the southern hemisphere will start to really show some signs of changing. But right now we've got a ramped up northern Pacific. Watch for the rain train to pound northern Washington north to Alaska. Heavy amounts of snow, multiple days of rain and strong winds. Extreme weather is on your doorstep for the next week. Atmospheric river of extreme weather is on your doorstep. Much love, everybody. Leave it here looking at our polar vortex right now. This is the most current view of our upper level winds depicting where our North Pole is or should be. Now, our polar vortex is very oblonged. And I haven't seen it like this yet. In my seven years of broadcasting, this is strange. Please like and share this channel today, giving you daily updates, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Have a look at our southern hemisphere right now, as it is summer in the southern hemisphere, winter in the northern. This is all going to change soon, going through all these changes together, and I'm so grateful to have you aboard. Much love. Stay safe and healthy out there. And thank you for almost 90,000 followers. This is amazing. Truly grateful. Thanks for watching. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye bye now.